backstage after the fight with one of my favorite all-time people, Jeff Houston. Jeff, what the heck? Amazing night of fights tonight. Susan, we are really starting to sound like a broken record when it comes to talking about bare knuckle fighting championship. Every time we say this was one of our best nights, this is one of our best nights, like I said, the needle on the record player is broken for good reason, because this really was one of the best nights of fights that we really had. Everybody stepped up to the plate and knocked a home run out tonight. It really was fantastic. So much heart. It was definitely a really interesting card. Bobby Taylor and Trey Brown, he would just not go down. You know, Bobby, you know, I mean, he's ODB for a reason. I mean, he's tougher than a $2 steak. He's tougher than a coffin nail. I mean, you know, seriously, somebody would actually have to let him know that he died because he wouldn't know. I mean, that's how tough he is. Now, you know, he was really attacking that eye, and, you know, that seemed to be the game plan and such, which, of course, you know, in this situation, you know you would exploit that, and it did happen. And Martin was just one step ahead of uh, Bobby Taylor. And we had a unanimous decision that I haven't seen uh, since I've been here with uh, Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. I've never seen 49-43 across the board, uh, ever, ever. And that's in three and a half years of Bare Knuckle history. The ladies, you know they're my favorite. They always bring it. We got to talk about that. Well, you know something? Um, as far as our straw weights, I mean, the straw weights are going to be an up and coming division. But if we're talking about divisions as far as, you know, hotter than a firecracker, hotter than a phoenix going through a volcano, then it starts and finishes with the 125 pound women's division, the, the fly weights. I just think that there is so much competition. There are so many up and coming fighters. And Taylor Starling, talk about putting the star in. Starling. She has now improved to 3-0, and she is saying that I don't care who's in my way, I'm coming after more gold. She already got gold on her or everything, but this is borrowed space as far as I'm concerned. You might want to say she was buzzing around because she was the killer bee. Floating like a butterfly, sting like a bee, fast as fast can be, you can't catch me. <laughs> Wait, I'm noticing something here. What is this? We have to talk about this. Well, this is a little uh, invention uh, courtesy of Rudy Design on Etsy. Uh, you know, this, I, I always look at other ring announcers, and the one thing that I see is what they're doing, but more importantly, what they're not doing cosmetically. And I'm, I've seen the bow tie for ages, and I said to myself, why don't we try something a little bit different? Why don't we try to take that and from a horizontal perspective, to a vertical perspective, because obviously we all want to be on an upward trajectory. So that's why I uh, decided to kind of do this. And the people with Rudy Design, they design all kinds of awesome ties. You know, this is certainly not my first, and boy, it won't be my last. Looking handsome as always. Next year, so much to look forward to. We've got fights expanding overseas. What are your feelings about next year? I I'm excited, are you? Well, I mean, we're going to be expanding to Russia. We're going to be expanding to so many other countries. You know, David Feldman, you know, really wants to take this to the point to where we're literally having two to three shows a month, if not more. And I'm totally down for that because, Susan, you know I've been here since moment one. And I am BKFC for life. You know, you can't sway me in any way, shape, or form. I love bare knuckle fighting. It is the most exciting combat sport on this planet. You couldn't drag me away from the squared circle. And we love you. We're so proud that you've been here since day one. By the way, happy birthday to you. My God. You know, it's just another year I didn't die, you know, and just another wrinkle that goes on the crow's feet and everything like that. Thank God that I have, you know, lotion for that, but that's a whole nother interview, so. <laughs> All right, Jeff Houston, as always, a pleasure. Can't wait to see you again in 2022, baby. Yes,